Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I wanna talk about an issue you may run into when you're trying to use cookies along with Fetch in JavaScript. So to begin with this, I have some Flask code set up. It's not really important uh, how it works. Just know that I have one endpoint that will set a cookie and inside of the cookie it will say, this is the data in the cookie. And then I have another endpoint that is designed to be fetched by fetch and it's simply going to read the cookie and return the data that is inside of that cookie and if there is no data in that cookie then you won't see anything so uh, what i'm going to do here is write a fetch function and this is going to tell me basically what's in the cookie so the first thing I wanna do is I want to get this cookie header here. So there's an empty header that you can't see, but I'm going to put the data from the cookie into that header so it's very clear once I hit, hit this button, which is for fetch. So what I'm gonna do is call this cookie header, and basically it's gonna be document and then get element by ID. Uh, the header is cookie data, and then I'm going to fetch. So what I'm going to fetch is fetch this. So slash fetch this. And then the method that I'm going to be fetching with is post. And then I'll add then uh, function response. And then inside this function, I'll return the response JSON. So response.json. And then in this function, let's call this JSON data. I will set the JSON data equal to, or I'll set the inner HTML for the header equal to the JSON data for the key that I have, which is called output here. And what I'll do is I'll put uh, a different string. I'll say there's Let's use double quotes. There's nothing in the cookie. And then it gets set here. Okay, so now when I click this button, it's going to call fetch data. It's going to perform the fetch, and it's going to tell me what's inside of the cookie. So when I load the page, it says the cookie has been set, and I'll fetch, and I see this is the data in the cookie. So this is exactly what I want, right? Well, I'm using Firefox in this case. When I go to Chrome and I hit fetch, I see there's nothing in the cookie. So two different browsers, but two different behaviors. So Firefox is able to read the data in the cookie, whereas Chrome isn't able to read the cookie, the data in the cookie, that is. And the reason is, is because when you're using fetch like this, you don't send the cookie in Chrome. Firefox sends the cookie for you automatically, but Chrome doesn't. And just a note about cookies, basically the way that cookies work is cookies are on a domain for something. So anytime you make a request to anything on that domain, the cookie will automatically be sent. But in the case of fetch in Chrome, it is not automatically sent. If I were going to another endpoint through the URL bar, then the cookie will be sent, but in this case is not being sent. So to get over that is very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to modify fetch and add another argument to it. This is going to be credentials. And the credentials is going to be same-origin. So this is obviously for fetches that are on the same domain. So this wouldn't apply to something that is uh, cross-domain. But in this particular case, since it's the same domain, I'm using same-origin, which means that the cookie will be sent along with the fetch request and then I'll be able to read it through the JSON through this process here. So now if I go back to Firefox and hit fetch, I still see the data in the cookie. And if I go to Chrome now and hit fetch, I see the data in the cookie. So I just changed that one argument, but now I can see it. And just to show you that I can actually change the data, here's where I'm setting the cookie, new cookie data. So I'll save that and my server automatically restarts when it saves. In Firefox, I'll refresh, I see new cookie data. And then in Chrome, I'll refresh, I see new cookie data. And I'll remove this again, just to show you. Remove this. And I'll put something else, um, something else. 
that works. My server restarts. In Firefox, I get something else. In Chrome, I get there's nothing in the cookie. And once again, once I add back what I just removed, put the credentials back for same origin, something else is still there. And then something else is still there. So I just want to let everybody know about that because it was a problem that I encountered a few days ago and I thought making a video on it would be pretty helpful to people experiencing the same problem. So if you're having a, a problem with cookies being sent in Chrome or maybe other browsers as well other than Chrome and Firefox, then you may want to add, three, add the credentials as same origin and then it should work for you. So if you have any questions about this, you can always leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.